The average house fire burns at a temperature of about 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't hot enough to destroy most metals and earthly made substances. And if an item is well placed and small in size, its chances of survival increase drastically. Let's take a look at the burning point of a couple of materials. Glass burns at around 20, 2600 to 2900 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than double the regular temperature of house fires or forest fires. And let's see what we can find out about aluminum. Aluminum melts at around 1,220 degrees. Some alloys burn a little bit hotter, uh, around 1,900 degrees. Now let's take a look at what the National Institute of Fire Safety and Safety Training say what will not generally burn in a house fire. Jewelry, because it's metal. Silver coins, because they're metal. Filing cabinets, steel cabinets, steel filing cabinets are built to last so that businesses won't have to deal with the loss of important files after building fires. Many people keep personal documents in filing cabinets, which are often kept in, ho in home offices. And it says here that uh, mil me silver burns around 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go down to barbecue grills, cookware, some appliances, stone table, fire safes. Um, let's see, it says here about tools. Because the melting point of carbon steel is between 2,600 and 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And the melting point of stainless steel is roughly 2,700 degrees. So you're not going to see your barbecues melt. You're not going to see your ovens and your uh, most of your appliances. They're not going to melt. They'll be burned. They'll be damaged. But they're not going to melt. These are not wildfires. Wildfires do not selectively target homes, passing the vegetation, leaping over it, skipping around it, and then boom, targeting the home. You want to believe your uh, authority figures, your mainstream media reporters, that these are embers flying, traveling long distances. You're telling me that embers flew from the mountains all the way down to that one home and it looks like the fire is actually inside the smoke is coming out of the home through the roof it leapt over all of the bushes and the trees and boom hit that home sorry that just doesn't happen Now, do you see that very defined line right there? That's not a wildfire. That looks like it was hit with a laser. Fire on the left, no fire on the right. Common sense should at least beg questions in people's minds when they see what I'm showing you right now. It's very hard to see this over and over again. You can see the different colors in the flames. If you've watched the news, you'll see what they're calling far, uh, wildfires. You'll see an awful lot of red, but then you'll see spots of white flame. Those are the homes going up. That's a wildfire. Really? Okay. Well, white flames are the hottest anywhere from 24 to 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. The average house fire is 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. So something is very wrong here. Something explosive is happening to these homes. That's not a wildfire. These homes are being targeted. Flames coming up from inside the home through the roof. Through the roof. I 
don't know about you guys, but I, this is very hard. And it's very hard to say the same thing over and over and over again. This is an unconventional war. They're using unconventional weapons. And we're all going to be destroyed if people don't wake up. It's clear, it's in your face, and they are putting it in our face. You know, they broadcast this footage on a nightly basis. And I guess people just don't have brains anymore, and they're listening to the reporters and accepting everything that they hear. That's it. Well, when you're at war, that's not a good thing to do. Look at this. That's not a wildfire. These are homes burning up with a flame that is from 24 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit destroying the homes. Look at all the fires that have gone on the past year all over the place. Most selective fire in history. They've now told me that this is a fire from uh, 2013 in San Diego. But look at the asphalt. Look at the eucalyptus trees. They're still there. And time and time again, just like the fires in Southern California, you'll see in a little bit. Some areas got it. Some areas don't. One home got it. Next door didn't. Made no sense, no rhymes, no reasons. And again, they still have no reasons for these fires. The Diablo winds, the Santa Ana winds, the tornado, Sharknado, all a bunch of crap. This is from Cardinal Newman, a Catholic school. Uh, look at the fire, folks. Straight line fires. Lasers. Can you say directed energy weapons? Look at that. Nothing's touched except half the ball field. Look at this home here, folks. One home fine. Next home not. Does the guy not have a smart meter? Who knows? We need to investigate. Unfortunately, they're not doing investigation at all. Now here, look at these fires down in San, in San Diego and in, uh, in Ventura County as well, down in Southern California. <laughs> There's nothing around. How'd these fires get there? Look at it. Can you see? Homes here and there, but not everywhere. Like no fires ever in history except the ones up in the Beast Fires in Alberta and Fort McMurray or the fires in China or the fires in uh, Madeira, Portugal or the fires in Gatlingburg, Tennessee. We're seeing them over and over. And also in Colorado, there was a fire, Waldo Fire Canyon, they said had the same types. But look at this. The trees are fine. And here they are dumping helicopters on them when one of those tankers would put out all those flames in one pass. Yet we're not seeing that happen. They're letting them burn, baby. Let them burn. Was drill, baby, drill. Now it's burn, baby, burn. Folks, they don't care about us. They really, really do not care about us. All right, let's get a little more into these L.A. fires, these beast fires, these fires. Again, fire departments are saying they have no idea how these things started. No idea how severe these are. Never seen them before. Again and again. This is the weather war terrorism we all face. Now, this picture has been taken off the Internet. It's a suburban neighborhood uh, believed to be near the Carr Fire, that's C-A-R-R, -R, which is uh, near Redding, California. Now, we're talking about fires. Irregular, unpredictable, raging forces of nature. Okay? Now, when the forest fire comes to a suburban development, we're going to take a look at how this particular forest fire, this force of nature, decided to burn when it got to the suburban development. Now let's drift the camera a little bit to the left. Now this forest fire, when it got to this suburban tract, decided that the houses were more important to burn than the trees. And we're going to drift down a little bit here, speaking of trees. Now, to the left of this group of trees or bushes, you see the shell of a burned out car. Now, the energy that it takes to blast all of the glass out of the car, to burn all the rubber tires off the car, that's pretty intense energy. So in that spot, there was an amazing amount of energy and heat being expended. And yet, the trees and the bushes off to the right of this particular car did not burn. Okay, 
That's strange. That's an anomaly, and that's been repeated over and over again in many of the fires. However, if we drift the camera up and to the right, we're going to find something that this irregular, unpredictable, raging force of nature decided to do. The left of this property is decimated. The right of the property, probably about a third of the house, looks like what happens to a decoration on the top of a wedding cake when it's cut. So this irregular, unpredictable, raging force of nature decided to do this to this house. Pretty amazing fires. Okay, so let's pull out a little bit and take a look at all of the lots that are in this picture. The thing that you're going to notice is the decimation, the obliteration is consistent. Every house is built differently. It has different uh, pieces of furniture and, and has different things inside it. They all should burn very differently. But what you see here is a replicated pattern of absolute decimation. So to me, this says something that's repeatable and it's accurate and persistent. That's a system. This is not the mark of a force of nature. Here's this neighborhood before. And I want you to look, you guys, there's absolutely nothing left. You don't see any part of any of the structures anywhere. This isn't possible. There's something else going on here. Something else going on here. The entire, entire building, everything, everything's gone but the trees. Now I want you to notice here that there's absolutely nothing of the structures left, not one of them. The trees are still here. There's a debris, but very, very little debris. Where's the stuff that was in all these houses? Where's the stuff? Where, where's the roofs? Where's the, where's the brick? Where's the, where's the granite countertops? Where's, where's the appliances? Where is everything? How come only the trees are standing? This is just not right. And then look at the fires that are still burning here. This is very scary. Look at this. Where is all the, the stuff? Where's all the glass that, that constituted this building and the materials? Where's all the glass? Yep. Toasted. He's right. It looks toasted. Look at this. There is this, the, whatever. Whatever, com whatever comprised the structural integrity of this building is entirely disintegrated. It's gone, you guys. It's gone. Whatever held this building up is gone. There's rubble, but this looks more like a bomb. Now, I want you to look. If this was a fire, why didn't this burn? This is this is this looks like something I would break up and put on top of one of my bonfires here. I would use this in my in my fire pit. What is it? It's just a, it's like a tree. It's tree branches. It's, this is kindling. How come the kindling didn't burn, but the entire structural integrity and in the glass is gone? Look at this car. It's like bent in half. The frame of this car is like bent in half. And yet, look at these trees are still standing. Every tree around here, every tree, every shrub, every bush is still standing. There's no way, there is no way that this is normal, folks. What is this? This is a shape, this is a frame of something. These were homes. Where are the toilets? Where are the, where's the glass? Where's the metal? Where's the structural frame? Let's, let's just back up here and take one more peek at these pictures because this is worth noting, guys. I want you to look at what normally remains standing after house fires, okay? Look at this. This is the kind of stuff we should see. And then the rubble for where everything fell down. It's one thing if, if the building burns and then all the crap collapses. That makes sense. This makes sense. See? These, these, this makes sense. Because everything doesn't come to a complete, absolute, perfect, 100% burn. Everything doesn't burn. 
especially the cars. The windows still stay intact. The, 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 I mean, the cars do catch on fire in house fires. But look at this. There's still structure here. This is important to notice that these structures are, even though they're bent and charred, and even if this fell over, you would still have all this rubble of black crap. See, this is like the, this was like their, you know, this probably was attached right here. And as this burned out from underneath it, this fell. You would expect this. This is how, this is, you, these things and these fires, you look at this and this stuff makes sense. It makes sense that this kind of crap is going to fall and it's going to be all charred. You know, this is the charring that we expect. And then these pieces fall over. This is normal. This is what happens in a forest fire. Look at, or I mean, a house fire. You see, this is what happens. Let's keep going and see what we see here. Because we don't see any of that here. We don't see any of the structure of these buildings. Let's just back up here and take a peek. I'm not going to go through this whole thing with you, but you don't see any of the structure left of these buildings. Not even, not even a teeny bit. There you see one washing machine. One washing machine. But where are the granite countertops? Where are the glass doors? Where's any of the metal framing? Where's the bricks? Where's any of the stuff that held these houses together? And why isn't there any rubble? But the tree is still standing, and the, and the grasses are still here. But the cars that were left have no glass. They're all smashed to pieces. Look at this, the garbage cans. Come on, guys, all the garbage cans are here. But look at the cars. Look at the condition of these vehicles. Look at this. This is all smashed and bent. And look at the twigs on the ground. These things should have caught on fire. How come, there's, how come there's pine needles and stuff all in the path? Right where a trees, where, where, how, where cars are just completely toasted. My gosh, you guys, look at this. These are all like, this looks like a bomb went off. This is just, this is like shrapnel of, of, of a tree that exploded. Where's the, where's the people's lawns? Here's a, here are some appliances. Look at that. We've got a, we've got a dishwasher. Or no, in a dishwasher, a washing machine here. But that's it. That's all you can see. And look at this vehicle. Would you just look at this vehicle? Oh, gosh, I keep touching it. I'm sorry. There, look at this vehicle. These vehicles are all destroyed. Look at this. What is this? What is this? All these vehicles are just, they have absolutely no glass in them. They're all just destroyed. Where's the house? Where did these houses go? Why isn't there anything standing whatsoever but the trees? This is supposed to be a forest fire. How come the forest didn't catch on fire? Not even the tree branches. Look at there's just twigs and stuff everywhere. Why did the twigs not burn? But every single solitary piece of two by four that built these houses is standing. I mean, isn't standing, is gone. It's all disappeared. There's no aluminum siding. There's no bricks. There's nothing. Look at this. This car is trashed. It's smashed. It's bent. The frame of this car, look at this, it's bent. This car, this, this is a blazer, you guys, or something like that, and it's, it's bent. Look at this. this. This stuff is still standing. The trees are still standing. Where's the buildings? Where did the buildings go? Where are the granite countertops? Where's where's any of the furniture? Where's the building? This was somebody's house, guys. Didn't didn't anything survive? You mean the coils of the bed, the mattresses didn't survive? Where is any of this stuff? People lived here. This was their contents of their entire house. How can it all be gone? I gotta slow this down. This is this is ridiculous. I, I can't believe this. It's just what we're looking at, and it's like this is real. At least people, I mean, I know it's real. It really happened, but what is this? Look at this. Where is this house? Where's any of the stuff? Because they left their garbage cans out, and their garbage cans are fine. The trees are still fine. So where did all the stuff inside the buildings go? Look at this. A plastic, this is a plastic mailbox, people. How can the plastic mailbox still be standing? These are wood posts. Why is everything so white? 
This is just totally not normal, you guys. This is totally not normal. I'm trying not to get upset about this, but my gosh, where's their house? Where are any of their houses? Look at this. This is, what is this? This isn't even burned. This just fell and everything underneath is dis disintegrated and gone. You guys, we got to ask serious questions. This looks like a, 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 these are these are some sort of weapon. This is like a bomb of some sort. This is like a disintegration bomb. I mean, it's like look at them. There's still little rubbles of fire burning. Why aren't the trees on fire still? What is going on here? Look at this. There's no glass in any of these, and the doors are open. All the paint, everything smashed. What is this? Where's all the stuff? How is this possible? What is burning here? What is smoldering? What is this? How come these shrubs didn't burn? What? Look at this. What is this? Why are the pine needles? You guys, this is a pine tree. How is it possible that a pine tree did not go up in flames? That's easier to burn than paper, people. Look at this. I just, I, I can't, I, 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 my mind is blown. The common sense of what I'm showing you just in this one picture basically says whatever the explanation that we've had so far from the officials about what causes these fires is basically a lie. So when I cultivate my common sense and I know I'm being lied to, I find out that there's more and more and more reasons as we go along to stay curious.